Hi there. Today I'm taking a look at a, a Method Cap Classique, which is a, um, a traditional method sparkling wine from um, the Western Cape in South Africa. Um, so this is Pongratz Brut, it's a non-vintage, um, and um, it's a wine that's a blend of, I believe, 60% Pinot Noir and 40% Chardonnay, um, and named um, after a Hungarian emigre, um, Desiderus Pongratz, evidently grew up in Hungary um, prior to the Second World War. Um, as a young man, he joined the Hungarian army, um, fought the Russians, um, and was taken up as a prisoner of war at the end of the war. Um, he served his time as prisoner of war, and when he was released, he found that um, Hungary wasn't really a country he wanted to continue living in. So um, in 1958, when there was quite a bit of upheaval going on in Hungary, he took his opportunity to leave uh, and went to South Africa. And there he was working in viticulture. Uh, by 1973, he'd become the, uh, the chief of viticulture for Distillers Corporation. Um, they were quite a large um, company. Um, that company later became uh, later merged with Stellenbosch Wine Farmers to become Distel. And today they're a huge group. They they own um, big brands such as Nederberg, um, Drostihoff, Fleur de Cap, um, and also um, spirits as well. So Amarula Cream is 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 their biggest brand. Um, so quite a, a, a large international exporter. Um, so he was um, he was their head of viticulture and uh, was very influential within the Cape in general. Um, he encouraged the um, selection, propagation, and importation of quality um, varieties um, and quality cuttings of those varieties for Chardonnay, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Noir, and and. The influence he had was enormous. I, I mean, people who um, followed his ideas, people like, for instance, Danny DeVette, now um, one of the leading Chardonnay producers in, in, in Cape Town. And, and um, he wrote um, a book called Practical Viticulture, which was a fairly standard text for a long time, from the late 70s, uh, for South Africa's um, vignerons. Um, Unfortunately, he died at the age of 61 in a, a rather tragic car accident where he was transporting some cuttings of Chardonnay to the, I believe you say, Eatkirk winery. Um, and um, in some ways, a, a fitting way to go, but at, at a tragically young age. Um, so um, he didn't actually um, have anything to do with the production of this wine directly. It's that it was named in memory of him. So. Um, they, they do actually make a top wine uh, called Desiderus Pongratz, Pongratz. Um, and, um, but this is the, uh, the Brut non-vintage, um, and this is quite a large, unreasonably high quality brand. As I say, 60% uh, Pinot Noir, 40% Chardonnay, so I'm expecting quite a rich style. Um, it then ages um, with its yeast lees, as you have to with a bottle fermented um, sparkling wine, a, a method kept classique. Um, and it spends two years with that um, yeast in the bottle, with the yeast breaking down and imparting richness and rich flavour uh, to the wine. So that's a reasonably long amount of time to, to do that. So this is quite a, a fair quality sparkling wine, I would assume. Um, and I can, I can see here there are some tiny bubbles rising quite um, persistently. And, and that's what you'd expect having with the yeast autolysis that helps to um, reduce the surface tension of the wine and therefore you can get smaller bubbles that are more persistent um, because it's making making the wine richer and um, improving its, its texture um, so let's have a look at the wine shall we first of all um, as well as the small bubbles you've got a really quite pale uh, yellow note to the color um, white to pale yellow I suppose um, don't need to agitate it much there's a there's a co combination of uh, aromas there one quite um, sort of vividly sort of almost the skin of red apples sort of heading towards a sort of a slight wild strawberry delicacy that sort of red fruit very very attractive notes but then behind that there are notes of um, yeastiness and they're almost heading towards a sort of a, a sort of a Vegemite meaty yeasty note at the end. Nothing, um, nothing unattractive actually, the two work really quite nicely together and they're harmonious but um, yes the richness of the fruit enables that. So 
with the blend of uh, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, I'm expecting freshness from the Chardonnay initially, and then length of flavour and richness um, from the Pinot Noir. So let's see if it bears, bears out my expectations. Well, I'll say that's completely dry, or seems completely dry. It probably has seven or eight grams of sugar, but um, you know, it's a it's a dry style, um, and there's really nice mouth-watering acidity. There's a lemony crispness there, um, and my sort of minerally clean um, acidity, um, and that actually seems a little tart. Um, the, the notes I have suggest that this undergoes malolactic conversion, but it's possible a portion has been held back, and so there's a little bit of that tart malic acid just helping to lift the acidity there. So the, the initial um, uh, impression is quite lean, quite lemony, quite uh, tart. But then the fruit opens, and again we've got that lovely sort of red apple fruit um, on the mid to back palate. Um, And then coming through from that, there's the yeastiness. Again, that sort of slight touch of meaty, marmitey, vegemite sort of note. Really, but but just as a sort of a um, a little tail carry on there, and you, you get a sort of, sort of spine of Pinot Noir, but you you, you get a sort of a, a, a lemony note heading for the finish, and there's a nice nice mouth watering element to it. But actually, the finish is a quite rich and rounded and the, the rich red fruit just carries on it, it doesn't let the uh, lemoniness overtake um, alcohol seems fairly well in balance so this is a probably medium bodied as sparkling wines go and possibly a wine that, that might be better at accompanying food than necessarily simply drinking as an aperitif on its own so um, yes that's uh, the Pongratz Brut Non-Vintage from, um, from South Africa, um, from Distill. Um, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you found it interesting. And if you did, please feel free to like and share um, and do join us again. Bye now.